Tonight, after chaos and dysfunction at Spotsylvania County School Board meetings, we're learning the sheriff's office is now refusing to provide any more security there. Well, this is the controversial superintendent candidate gets closer to taking the job. Lindsay Watts is in Fredericksburg with more. The big news today is that the Virginia Board of Education voted to give a superintendent's license to that candidate, Mark Taylor. So now the board here only has to formally hire him, which they do have the votes to move forward with. There was some intense criticism of Taylor in Richmond today, including from state board members who brought up his past I offensive think, uh, Facebook posts. One referenced Oprah Winfrey. And the point being Oprah Winfrey was apparently speaking out about things that she saw as racism in America. And the point was because she's a fat black woman who made a billion dollars, she's not entitled to speak about racism in America. Here's another alleged post referenced at the meeting. The single best thing America's can do to counter the left wing attack on America is to take their children out of America's schools. Um, the posts are just one students. reason some parents have said Taylor I'm shouldn't be superintendent. They also point out he's a close friend of the school board chair. He has no background in education, and his own kids did not attend public school. While some on the state board criticized Taylor, they ultimately decided hiring him is a local decision, and they would give him a license. Okay, so that carries 6-2. A group traveled from Spotsylvania County to Richmond today to speak before the board. And we were really Really, truly hoping that by going to them today, they would be able to um, deny that licensure for several reasons. But they explained it well that that was not their job. Some brought up the Facebook posts saying Taylor owes the community an explanation. If he does not represent those, then he need to meet with the African American community and have conversations. Hey, you guys, uh, th that's not me. Mm -hmm. He need to say that. Right, and not let it just float around. Meanwhile, we've learned the Spotsylvania County Sheriff wrote this letter to the board saying his deputies will no longer provide security at board meetings starting next month. On Monday, we watched the board chair telling deputies to kick certain people out of the meeting, and we saw disagreements between board members on who should be kicked out. The letter says deputies are being forced to take sides. The conservative majority now has control of this board. The prior superintendent was abruptly fired. And there is such serious infighting among board members that even routine business is stalled. Stop I talked to board member Don Shelley, who's part of the liberal minority. What do you say to the community members who are frustrated and horrified by the dysfunction on the board? <laughs> well, I know that I'm not always 100% innocent in that part, but um, just keep letting the people know, letting the public know what's happening. The people who aren't paying attention to school board meetings, make sure they know what's happening. I reached out to the board chair, Kirk Twig, for comments, but I have not heard back. At this point, it's unclear who will be providing security here starting next month. We got just a brief comment from superintendent candidate Mark Taylor. He says he is very proud to have been certified for a license by the state board. Back to you.